Welcome to the South Florida Media Network. I'm Yara Troche. And I'm Casey Mintz. And tonight we begin with the coronavirus pandemic and its effects on expecting parents. Regulations of safety for newborns and mothers leaving soon-to-be parents wondering the best way to bring their child into this climate of uncertainty. South Florida Media Network's Vivian Desmay with the story. COVID-19 has made everyone adjust to the new normal. Expecting parents like Keenan and Magdalene Mintz have had an even bigger learning curve and more to worry about. I mean, I'm nervous. I, it's my first time, so I'm, you know, delivering or having a baby. So, um, you know, generally I'm nervous, anxious, uh, ready to get it over with. That the most difficult part of giving birth during COVID was not being able to have my mother in the delivery room with me. Leda Hernandez gave birth to her first daughter in June. She says she wishes she had more support in the delivery room. Her support during such a difficult moment um, would have been very, very helpful. And especially to share that special moment of when, you know, you first become a mom. Medical professionals say that masks pose a new challenge because babies depend heavily on facial expressions. But in spite of this, they are committed to the safety and care of their patients. So, you know, babies rely on your expression and, you know, to kind of help calm them. And so it's been a big adjustment. They can't see you smile. Even with the difficulties the pandemic has brought, the Mitz family will always be grateful for what this year delivered to them. Despite, you know, this worldwide issues, all the issues in this country, everything that's going on, really the biggest thing and most important thing for me is that you came this year. This was Vivian Desmet with the South Florida Media Network. Depression after pregnancy can also be complicated by COVID-19. And as South Florida Media Network's Genesis Valencia found out, it's not just a risk for mothers. One of doctor's many concerns for new parents is postpartum depression. This can be aggravated by the isolation due to COVID-19. According to the National Institute of Mental Health, up to 80% of women experience the baby blues. But marriage and family therapist Violeta Parije said that postpartum depression is more than just a baby blues. Um, the mom cannot recover from being sad and she starts failing to connect with the baby and to um, just continue with her day-to-day -day activities that can be considered postpartum depression. Parije also said that postpartum depression is not exclusively found in women. It is also an invisible enemy of men too. According to an article published in Innovations in Clinical Neuroscience, up to 10% of fathers experience postpartum depression. Parija also offers some advice for loved ones of those affected by postpartum depression. Support will be the main goal, giving the person all the support they need. For the South Florida Media Network, I'm Genesis Valencia. In our next story, I speak to parents, teachers, and medical professionals who in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic are at odds so options continue to narrow for childcare. Six months into the coronavirus pandemic, parents are still struggling with the decision on whether or not to send their children back to daycare. Health concerns due to remote learning have caused further debate on making the right choice. A lot more children are complaining of neck pain and headaches um, because they're spending their time bending down on a screen. Because children are unfamiliar with online learning, parents and healthcare workers are worried about their performance in school. Um, I found that a lot of children want to go back to school. Um, they miss the socialization. They miss the structure of the school. Um, some did not do so great in the spring in terms of grades. Since reopening, daycares have taken measures to ensure the safety of children while providing a more familiar learning environment. Daycares have now implemented new safety guidelines such as enforcing face masks and social distancing. While healthcare professionals have given parents the okay to send their children back to school, some parents are still apprehensive. Would not feel comfortable sending her back to school even if the um, teacher is wearing a mask because of the other students. While opinions may differ, the main focus on both sides remains providing children with an optimal education experience while still keeping them safe. This is Yara Choche reporting for the South Florida Media Network. In the last two weeks, both Miami-Dade and Broward County Schools have welcomed back students for in-person classes. 
South Florida Media Network's Daniel Otero talk to a local teacher about this transition. Teachers, students, and administrators were all hit with a learning curve when the COVID-19 outbreak struck America. Demi Garcia, an ESC teacher in Cooper City, describes some of the experiences that she endured teaching students virtually over the summer. The decline that I've seen in a lot of their levels, all the progress that they had been making, those learning gaps that we worked so hard to close. You know, we just recently had the diagnostic and I would say like 80% of my kids declined. Um, and again, it's just going back to not having that one-on-one or the parent is not there or they just don't have that support that they need. When asked about what changes she has seen in the kids returning to learn in person, she had this to say. They opened up the daycare. They sent out all of the precautionary, you know, the rules and everything. And, and it's been running great. It's been awesome. Um, we have to fill out a questionnaire every morning. They take their temperature every morning, you know, but they're doing what they have to do. And since as of August, it has been clean. Nothing has happened. I'm Daniel Otero with the South Florida Media Network. That's all the time we have for South Florida Media Network News. I'm Yara Troche. And I'm Casey Mintz. Remember, Panthers, mass on and pause up.